I sold this Michigan Wolverines necklace. It's this uh, officially licensed collegiate necklace. You know, nothing big here. Um, I sold it for six dollars and twenty cents, so it's not big money or anything. But the cool thing is, this was one of my first picks from a yard sale. I got it for a quarter, so I guess I did fine on it. I'm moving out. <laughs> All this stuff out of the garage here. I actually need to get back in here to get this car jack, and it's behind a motor and tires and everything. It's right back there. So a bunch of work. I need to jack the van up and see what's going on. This seems like there's a su suspension issue. I'm gonna see if it's a simple thing before I go and spend a bunch of money getting it fixed. Sold this Sony DVD VHS combo. I paid $5 for this at a Goodwill outlet and I took an offer for $38.50. I had it listed for $49. <laughs> buys and the way I list stuff um, so when I buy a lot or when I go out on um, during the day for a trip to yard sales I'm gonna name those lots so that huge lot that I picked up the other day I'm just gonna call that lot one and I'm tracking the amount that I paid in a spreadsheet and then um, when I list things from those lots I'm gonna put in the custom skew here the number that goes with that item. That way, um, I can always tie back what I'm selling to which lot it came from and how much I paid for it and get a good sense for like my profit, basically, which I need to get a handle on anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. So I think the way I'll do yard sales is I'll just have the whole day of yard sales as like one big lot number. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, curious how other people do that or what you think of how I'm doing it. Yeah, so I listed some of the phones from that huge lot that I bought uh, today, but I'm probably not going to do any kind of unboxing for the phones because it would be like... It's a phone. It's another phone. It's another phone. Oh my gosh, it's a phone. <laughs>
So you, you make us an offer. I, I'm interested in both of these. Okay. I'm curious, you know. I don't know. I was thinking like ten each though. Go for it. Okay, cool. That's a good deal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, what would you want for that? Just take it. Oh, all right. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> that was the only one. Check out this estate sale. It's crowded. Probably gonna be too crowded. Pink tag is a dollar. Yeah. Okay. Are these all a dollar then? These ones. Okay. You can have a offer a dollar safe. Oh, for real? <laughs> okay, I would take that. You know those um, those cars, the uh, trucks, the collectibles. Yeah. Would you take an offer on those, or are you pretty firm on the price for those? Hi, I'm Brandon. Good to meet you, Lee. Um buying these hats I was gonna ask about the trucks I didn't yeah. know how flexible you were if, if maybe I bought all of them what you well, let's go look okay. at what, uh... I think uh, quite honestly the prices on them I think are kind of high but um, they are cool looking yeah I do you collect them I don't but I kind of looked them up real oh, quick yeah <laughs> I, uh, I have quite a few hundred of them actually. oh wow okay well why don't uh, you keep them duplicates not just or... Win Ross uh, yeah I have uh, I have a lot of spec casts and some other ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, but these are some that I have, uh, a number of these I have duplicates of. <laughs> so yeah. I, I drove, years ago I drove trucks, so that's when I got it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, well, that's cool. I, I, uh, yeah, some of these, the the DM Stolzfus, that's a very limited edition. Oh, I didn't one. even see that one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a very limited edition. Okay. Uh, the Burke Holder's limited edition. I'm, I'm not real flexible on those because so everything here is about 140. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I was probably going to offer you too little, to be honest. Oh, I was going to okay. offer maybe like 40 or 50 bucks for all no, of it. No. I I understand though. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would maybe let uh, if if you're interested in. That's limited edition, but there was quite a few of them made. These mm -hmm. two, uh, Leffler was not. They made they made uh, probably a thousand of those. <laughs> no, if you, if you're interested, uh, that one has a number of them made. But would you be interested in these one, two, three, four, five for fifty dollars? Mm. 
I think I'd do it for 40. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, as long as these two aren't in, yep. I'm good. <laughs> I'll leave those two. Okay. Awesome. And yeah. it sounds like you can get what you want out of those. Yeah, those... Awesome. Yeah, I, I can. And Perfect. If, if you turn around, you can easily get more than that form if you want. Okay. <laughs> if you find the dealer. Which I don't care if you do. Because right, yeah. Like I said, I, I have... I have Wow, that's cool. Who's in charge down here? Okay. You know what you're asking on this GE work belt? That's just kind of cool looking. Dollar. Dollar? I'll do that for sure. Yeah, thank you. I should give you a prize. Oh yeah, GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep it on just the stuff if that's all right. Or I won't record it all if you don't want me to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I record everything I look at. I'm kind of just, I like looking at yard sales, and then, no, um, no, no. <laughs> I work for the FBI. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have anything to hide, but. No, no, I, I like to record what I see, and then uh, I do put it on YouTube, and then people look at it on YouTube and tell me what I miss or stuff like that. Or what you can go back and buy and sell it for double? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 49.4. Wow, that is sweet. Does it run? Does it does it run? Oh yeah! Wow! I've never yeah. shot that gun. I've, I've never shot any more. How are you today? I don't know how to shoot it. I'm just a... good. All right. Then I picked up a VCR and a VCR DVD combo, and they have the remotes, and they gave me some blank media, and um, all the cables and everything that's in this box, and I got it all for twenty. They had them marked twenty a piece, and. I told them I was sort of interested, and they said make an offer, and I thought about offering five each, but since they had them marked at 20, I just went for the half, you know, 10 and 10, and they took that right away, so maybe I should have tried for the five, I don't know, but I think I think that that was still good. These, uh, the comps are pretty good on them, so um, we'll see how I do. Picked up these Winross um, toy trucks, I don't know if they're toys or models or what, they're like collectibles really. Um, they're really nice quality. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but they're made in the USA. They seem to be, you know, I can find similar ones online. Um, I ended up getting five of these for 40 bucks. We went back and forth a little bit. He ended up keeping two out of the whole lot that he had up for sale because he just didn't want to let him go for so little. Um, but that w that guy was really nice, and um, we talked for quite a while, actually. So um, happy to get these. He has a huge collection of them at home, and I guess these are like his duplicates. Picked up this lot of hats for $5. There's five of them here. I really like this Switzerland one, and the rest of these look like something that they maybe they picked them up at different places they had visited or something like that. This one's really cool. It's got Quartzsite, Arizona, the donkey on it. Or is that a mule? I don't know. Probably a mule. Whatever. Yeah, so these are kind of neat. And for a buck, uh, let's see what I can get for them. Alright, another dollar find that I got was this GE tool belt. Um, it's leather. It seems really quality. It might need cleaned up a little bit but it's got this belt and everything to go with it. Um, I don't know, I just think that's really cool. It could either be a display piece or you may even want to use it, I don't know. Um, but for a buck I figured I'd try it out 